All right, let's oh. keep this conversation going. Joining us now to do that, Florida Congresswoman and member of House Homeland Security and Agricultural Committee's Kat Kamek. Congresswoman, welcome back to the program. I appreciate you being here. This is a hot button item. It's going across all the airwaves right now. But what is your take on where this stands right now How, as we've had a couple hours or days to digest what actually happened? Well, good morning to you both, and thanks for having me. You know, there's a lot that we still don't know. Mm. And, and so uh, there's really nothing more than speculation at this point about what was in search warrant, thing, things of that nature. But we, what we do know is that this is a gross overreach. I, I mean, even with so many outstanding details, we know that 30 uh, FBI agents is not required to pick up 15 boxes. Right. This is clearly the weaponization of the DOJ by the Biden regime. And, and, and it's, it's absurd. Everything that we have heard has pointed back to that the National Archivist was looking for records uh, yeah. from his term in office. Now, the, when you dig into this, this is what I find to be very interesting. The penalty for uh, violating the Presidential Records Act, right, so keeping um, records or, or letters or notes, right, that is uh, the equivalent of fines, but also prohibits, if found guilty of this, uh, prohibits a person from holding future office. Now, I find that to be very specific, considering that the Biden administration is absolutely terrified of another mm. uh, another Trump uh, campaign. And so I think this is politically motivated in nature. I think it is overstepping the bounds of, of what their mission is. We're seeing the weaponization of federal agencies, not just with the DOJ and the FBI, but now, of course, with the IRS, with 87,000 potential new agents to audit everyday working class Americans. This is big government at its worst. And this is what an America last policy looks like. We need to get our, our stuff together and get Republicans mm -hmm. back in mm -hmm. November, because if we don't, there will be no stopping this runaway banana republic. Yeah, yeah let, let's talk about that IRS hiring that you mentioned, 87,000 new agents. This is part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, this, in particular, it's getting a lot of pushback, okay. uh, especially when you look at the data that the majority of people who have been audited are those who make under $400,000, which is what the press secretary said that will only apply to. What are your thoughts on this? Well, it's clear that that's a lie because the Senate Democrats were uh, they they were able to vote on an amendment to this package and say and the amendment was quite simple. It said that none of these 87,000 IRS agents would target individuals or families making less than four hundred thousand dollars. Yet every Democrat shot that amendment down, which, again, right there told us their play. They're interested in coming after working class Americans and people who are making less than four hundred thousand dollars, which means that Joe Biden yeah. was lying all along. And then you think about what else is in this package, this disastrous package. Even Bernie Sanders, by the way, isn't buying the inflation reduction. He calls it the so-called inflation right. reduction. It's really more of the expansion act because you have three hundred and fifty billion dollars in Green New Deal taxes and fees that are designed to increase mm -hmm. the, the price of gas to go after methane and to uh, penalize domestic production of oil here in the United States. Yeah. Again, I go back to this is the America last agenda that Joe Biden has been pushing for since he got in office. Mm -hmm. And we're votes away from stopping this legislation on Friday. We can do it. We need America's help. Let's stop this Biden regime. From that would be over. something if it stole in the House. Congressman, I got about 15 seconds left. The CPI numbers just came in 8.5 percent. So very little bit less bad than it was last go around. Still huge. No, absolutely. I mean, think about when uh, we were in the first few months of the Joe Biden uh, administration. It was one point seven. A few points here and there isn't going to make much difference. We know that gas is too expensive. Food yeah. is too expensive. Uh, it's back to school week. And things are just too expensive. Americans cannot afford Joe Biden. It's time yeah. to get yes. under control and the power back to them. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Congresswoman Kamek. We appreciate it.
Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. You too. J.P. Morgan CEO is warning that an economic hurricane is coming. Are you preparing? If you don't do anything, your 401k could be a 201k, and that is not good. So call our trusted friends at Lear Capital. For 25 years, Lear has helped investors own gold to protect against market chaos. It's a good thing. They can help you too. Get your information and up to $15,000 in bonus IRA gold. Just call this number, 800-880-4300. That's 800-880-4300. 